of, well, illumination, obviously. Um, and what I'm learning about what's happening right now is the time, like, old wounds are coming up. Um, so you might be feeling like kind of like old stuff or stuff doesn't feel like it's yours that you're, that's coming up or um, just things that aren't finished. Things, it's like a time of like, oh shit, this isn't working. I need to like go back and figure out how to make this work or like what's not working. And so it's like illuminating a lot of these darker kind of areas. And I mean, we could go into this all night probably if you want to add a little bit more. Yeah, um, so what's happening right now, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, and um, what you're referring to with the wounds coming up, it's, it's conjunct Chiron, so Chiron is the wounded healer, and the Piscean energy, Pisces is the, the last of the 12 signs, so oftentimes when we think of Pisces energy, we think of this, essentially this mystical impulse to experience unity and oneness with all things, this spiritual transcendent kind of energy and that's all true and valid and real but the lesser discussed arena of Piscean energy is this this idea of release and loss and trouble and so the intensity that a lot of us are feeling right now is because the Chiron, the Chironic energy is bringing up these old wounded places that need healing um, and the, the evolutionary invitation is instead of attaching on and becoming so over-identified and hyper-identified with the physical plane and the material world and these worldly concerns that are the, the root of so many of our wounded places, relational stuff, work stuff, living, health concerns, all of these more um, earthly concerns, we, when we become so hyper-identified with those earthly concerns, we're operating from a contracted level of awareness, right? We're, like if my fist is the, prob the troubles, the problems, and we're aware of what's wrong in our existence, in our experience, or troubles that are coming up in our relationships, <coughs> we become hyper-concerned or over-identified with those issues. So that blocks us from releasing into the truth that we are infinite beings having an infinite experience over an infinite number of lifetimes, that we are all interconnected, that we're all one, this more transcendent reality that we're, we also have access to. So the, the evolutionary invitation right now for all of us is instead of becoming hyper-engaged and attached to the wounded places that are coming up and trying to fix them, we are invited to release, to let go, to surrender, and zoom out, to expand. So as we zoom out from our problems, from our stressors that are physical, earthly stressors, we zoom out, we release, we expand even more into this more cosmic, transcendent perspective, and in doing that, we actually create a level of spaciousness between those problems and the truth of our consciousness, which is so vast. So we want to practice engaging with the vastness that exists inside of all of us, which creates space, quite physically, an experience of space between the problems, the stressors, the earthly issues that, are caught, that can cause us to operate from a more contracted level of awareness. So instead, during this time, we let go you know, in the highest vibration. We let go, we release, we accept radically, radically accept your life as it is. And in doing that, you release into this complete experience of spaciousness that is the biggest gift of Piscean energy, right? From that place, we have space to see the miracles. From that place, the synchronicities, all the meaningful coincidences can flow. If we're hyper-engaged with what's hurting, with those wounds, we miss it. We miss it. So now we release, right? So in this meditation, let us all release so we can zoom out and come out of this meditation with a more expanded level of awareness so when the miracles and synchronistic experiences present themselves, we notice and we can follow those universal breadcrumbs into the magic that is awaiting for us on the other side of the expanded awareness. Right, do you guys feel that struggle? So that's that's our aim today is to release, to let go. What's that quote? If it's come, if it comes, let it come. If it stays, let it stays. If it goes, let it goes. Let it go. Radical acceptance right now, so we can expand, and that's where we meet each other. And that's that. Thank you. Has everybody here met?
meditated before? Is there anyone who hasn't meditated before? <laughs> if I hadn't, would I admit it? Well, just, just to know. Like, just just so that I, okay, we're all friends here. So we'll just do a short one. It's just to kind of like ground us, connect us, center us, and um, and then we can jam some more.